how's everyone doing during quarantine? Today is September 14th. I'm Isabella. And I'm Micah, and I'm hosting from home. Try this act of kindness. Take time to offer your assistance to someone who might need it, and always be kind and respectful. Now a message from Mr. Wurtzer. Hi Mustangs, Mr. Wurtzer here with my weekly message. First up, congratulations. Uh, we have September almost halfway through. You guys have done a really good job. Um, all students, please pay attention to this. iReady testing is winding down, but there's still about a third of you that have not completed your testing. This testing is very important because it gives us a baseline. The baseline is start knowing where you start from. The teachers and the staff and all the different people at Will Rogers are going to be creating interventions and classes based on where you land on that testing. And it's really important to know exactly where you're at. So those of you that are not finished, I need you to take the time to go in and finish so that we can get an accurate placement where you're at. If you rush through it, it's not going to show us where you're at and you may, up, may end up with interventions that you don't need. And we don't want to waste your time with that. We don't want to just sit through that. I want to know exactly where you're at so we can give you what you need to make sure you're progressing the way you should. Should be. So for some of you guys that have not finished, phone calls will be coming home this week. Uh, just check in with your parents to make sure that test does get finished. Some good news on books. Uh, we're going to be adding some books to the library. For those who don't know, you can check out books online from the library. If there aren't books in our library that you want to check out, uh, you can email your English teacher or Mr. Kyle Steffen in the library, and he will start purchasing books that you would like to have in the library. So let us know, as long as they're age appropriate. There's some stuff out there that we just can't have at a junior high library. But if there's something out there that you're really into, please let us know and we can order it. Oh, this is very, very important. So, ladies and gentlemen, in this world, we all have people that really help us out, that do a lot of things to just to make us get by. And I want to acknowledge someone. So, the other day, it was Miss Sharon Horton's birthday. And she, those you don't know, she's a secretary in the office. She does a million things to make sure that everything goes smooth for Will Rogers. She does all the purchasing. She works with all of our subs. She is the first voice to a lot of our families here. Um, if you have a chance and you're, you're calling the office and you get Miss Horton, wish her a happy late birthday. I, I greatly appreciate all the stuff she does to help me out at Will Rogers. Next up, a big thank you to all the students that have started showing your faces. Please remember that teachers, part of the communication with your teacher, is your body language, your facial expressions, everything about you so that when you understand a concept or you understand something they teach, they get feedback from you to make sure uh, that, th that you understand what's going on. Teachers thrive on this. It makes them, oh my goodness, they got it. This is exactly what teachers want and they need to see you. So a great, great level of appreciation to all the students that started turning their cameras on to help their teachers out. Um, also students, remember you can put a fake background behind you, the ones that come with Zoom, and that can uh, just make it so the only thing the teacher does see is your face. Last up today is now that we're at the point of the year where everyone can log in, that all our Zoom accounts are authenticated, that everyone can access a Zoom, uh, Zoom classroom, expectations on participation are rising. So students, I need you to do more than just log in. Make sure you're interacting with your teachers, asking their questions. And when they ask you a question, we need you to respond so that you guys communicate back and forth. All right, students, real quick recap. First, I ready testing. For those of you who haven't finished, make sure you're finishing and make sure you're doing a thorough job so that your numbers are real. There will be phone calls going home uh, starting next week to make sure uh, that you do finish those. Books, if there's any books out there that you would like to have in the library, contact your English teacher or contact uh, Mr. Stefan in the library. If you call the office, get a big happy birthday to Ms. Horton. Ms. Sharon Horton who helps out a lot. Uh, thank you to the students that are uncovering their faces and Remember that expectations are rising on participation. We're at the point where everybody can log in, everyone's authenticated. Uh, we need you interacting with your teachers now. Hope you guys have a great week. Take care. Happy birthday to Mr. Christopher Gonzalez. His birthday is on Wednesday. Check out this week's Tech Tip. Hello. 
I'm Brayden Skinner. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to check your classwork for pretty much any class, but for today I'm going to be using period four, which is media. So first you're going to go onto the class on Google Classroom and then you're going to see on stream. On stream it's mostly it's mostly like main things such as Zoom meetings and like things from Mustang Morning News and things like that. And upcoming, if you look right here on upcoming, you can see what do today do tomorrow do the next day but it doesn't show things that are due in a little while so you can also check your um classwork by if up where you see stream you can cl click on classwork and then it shows all of your assignments um so the um the ones that are light gray those are the ones that you have um turned in the ones that you have turned in or have been graded and the ones that are dark gray or black um those are the ones that you haven't turned in that you need or that you need to do and you can also see the due dates so this is due september 4th things like that and do do then and then if you need you can also check if you go to the main menu, which is these three lines, you can press on that and go to calendar. If you go to that, you can see all of your assignments, every single one of them. It doesn't show if they're graded or not, but you can see every single assignment right then and there. Thanks for the tech tip, Brayden. Attention all students, Monday, September 21st is Student Council Election Day. Be sure to join our Will Rogers Middle School 20 to 21 Google, Google Classroom to watch the campaign videos and most importantly to vote and stay tuned. Let's meet some of Will Rogers staff. Hello, I am Ms. Frankenberger. Welcome to Will Rogers Middle School. I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade ELD classes. ELD stands for English Language Development. If you need to contact me, please email me at sfrankenberger at sample1.edu. Parents, you have the option to email me in your native language. Students, you also can contact me via Google Classroom. I have been teaching for 20 years. This is my 19th year in Sample 1. Students and families, I look forward to an exciting school year. Go to the Will Rogers website to view and submit your own shout outs and students and staff. You can do your shout outs on the Mustang Money News. Now it's time for shout outs. Hi, Mustangs. This shout out goes to Kira V, who was helpful with other students in my class by getting on late at night and explaining to them in the comments how they could complete assignments easier. One thing though, don't be up so late. Be more responsible and get to bed on time. Thank you, Kira, for being kind with your classmates. Hi, this is Mrs. Day. I'm here to give a shout out to Lakota M in my honors English class. Lakota did two pages worth of optional English notes for our activities that we worked on today. I'm super impressed with your work, Lakota. Keep it up. Hi, Mustangs. This is Mrs. Brizzy, and I just wanted to give a shout out to Ariana Games, who scored the highest out of everyone in my Eye Ready Diagnostic. Uh, she tried really hard, she did it on time, and she's been an amazing student so far. So nice work, Ariana. That's it for the Mustang Morning News. I'm Micah. And I'm Isabella. And we're signing off.